Hey everybody, welcome to my next edition of the New Creatures series for 6th edition Tyranids. This time I'm going to be focusing on my second favorite creature. First one was the Horospex, second one now is the Exocrine, which is, in my opinion, the best all-around unit in the Tyranid army list now. He's a beast at range with his bio cannon, but surprisingly enough, when I play tested him, he's a beast in hand to hand combat. And so, like I said, best all around creature in the game. In fact, I'm surprised it wasn't an HQ choice. But, uh, so let's, let's look at the range first, since that's the obvious part, which everybody's going to see about it. He's got a bile cannon strapped to his back. 24 inch strength 7 AP2 with the ability to fire either as a large blast or as an assault 6 assault 6 weapon oh and by the way even the large blast is also still assault so yeah that's moving and shooting going on for you right there and uh, let's remind you of a little combo that I talked about before called uh, onslaught, which allows you to run and shoot. You can imagine someone around there casting that on an exocrine, which allows it to run and shoot and assault. This thing is going to catch up to you pretty fast. And with a 24-inch range, it doesn't even care if it catches up to you. Run all you want. <clears throat> It has uh, sympathetic targeting, which if it doesn't move in the movement phase, it gets plus one to its weapon skill. This is also interesting because I'm looking at this and I'm going to probably get clarification on it. But as far as I can see, it only says if it doesn't move in the movement phase. But then if you cast Onslaught and everything on that, you might be able to run and shoot. So does that mean he still gets his plus four? I mean his plus one, his ballistic skill four in <laughs> after Onslaught. I'll look into that more later, but but if it is, that that's, that's kind of cute. So if that's not enough... If that's not enough, let's look at its melee template. The guy is strength 6, toughness 6, 5 wounds, and, yes, 3 plus armor. Why would a ranged unit need 3 plus armor? Uh, yeah, I know you're going to say, because it'll get shot at. Yes, 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 but really. Considering all the other Tyranids are getting shot at too, there'd be a lot more 3 plus armors. <clears throat> three attacks two is that also necessary for the ranged okay you can say well you know it's monstrous creature they always get three plus attacks okay that's true then how about the fact that it's fearless monstrous creatures aren't automatically fearless the only thing i can think of fearless for is for charging things most of the time uh its instinctive behavior is hunt not lurk which is usually the instinctive the instinctive behavior of of ranged units in the Tyranid army, and now it keeps getting better. Um, it can take any of the biomorphs and a thresher prehensile tail, any of the biomorphs. And for me, from my standpoint, the biomorphs are pretty much melee boosting most of the time. So as far as I can see, this thing is, is definitely designed to get stuck in. Stuck in against high toughness, high armor save units. Soften them up as it charges it in, and then eat the survivors when it gets there. How do you do this? Adrenal glands. Furious charge and fleet. Enough said. Regeneration. Get back. You, you, you get back one wound on a 4-plus at the end of the next round. 
uh, from wounds you had from the rounds before. Again, enough said, but I'm saving the best for last. Acid blood. And I talked about this with the horror specs. If you didn't watch the horror specs video, I'll give you a quick rundown. And in fact, I'll even give you a clarification that I didn't give in that one. And that is, it does its wounds immediately. That's the word. Immediately. Uh, at first, when I started playing it, I just did the wounds at the initiative step. So I let the guy get all the wounds off, and then you resolve all the wounds against it just at the immediate at, at, at the initiative step. But now I'm reading it carefully again, and it appears that it's supposed to go off right after it does the wound. So if you've got some monstrous insane creature with 10,000 attacks, but five wounds, it's not going to get off those 10,000 attacks, most likely. It's most likely going to kill itself very quickly. <clears throat> and let's not forget also the Hammer of Wrath for this guy. So when he assaults, or you assault it, it's going to do the Strength 5 AP2 Acid Blood Hits resolved immediately after the unsaved wound not after the failed armor save but after the unsaved wound immediately so that means if you're charging in this case i was i was testing it against your standard full tactical marine squad with their initiative four because he is initiative three and they all get the assault marines, blood claws, whatever. They all just run in going, la, 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 and boom. There's a fairly good chance they're all going to kill themselves before you even get to hit them. Easily, you can wipe down half a squad. And this is without me taking into account that if it charges them, it will get in either a large plasma blast template or an assault six hits on it first. I was just checking out what would it be like just in straight melee without any softening up beforehand. It's very hard for a space meaning unit to come out of that with more than half strength. <clears throat> so when you think about it this way, this guy is like the horror specs for, as I said, high toughness, high armor save units. Uh, it can, with high high amount of probability kill eight space meanies around uh and with pretty decent probability wipe out a whole tactical squad in one round of of assaulting and melee when you give it all of its biomorphs biomorphs <clears throat> try it out really try it out yourselves let me know uh i like it like i said i think it's the best all-purpose unit in the game I mean, in the Tyranid army so far, uh, it takes care of a lot of the weaknesses that um, previous artillery units, ranged units had for the Nids. So you had the Zoanthrope, they got nice defense, um, but it couldn't really attack. At Biovore, also, same situation. And neither of those are monstrous creatures. So try it out. It's a space marine eater. You can imagine having more than one of these things running around your army. You can imagine having one of these things team, teamed up with the horror specs. This guy shoots at it, and the horror specs just eats them. Or just two exocrines. Either way, it's an, you're going to be seeing a lot of them. I hope you like this video. I'm probably going to do the hive crone next. Please like and tell me what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.